Dr. Cortex. We haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot. <laughs> Crystals, of course. No! But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Well 
done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? You are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must be Gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. <laughs> Crystals, not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. <laughs> I see that Ripperoo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered, 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them, and this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to call. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Show Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Crash, thank goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying to... Crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my... <laughs> our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next warp room. Crash, I haven't got much time. Cortex has almost completed the new space station. Something's not right with his statements. Beware the tricks he's talking. Crash. I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. 
He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination. And he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Deliver the crystals to Engine. Ah! What is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete, and I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. Engine, what's happening? What's that? Is she stealing our signal? Crash, Cortex isn't gonna use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's gonna harness the force and use it to power the super Cortex Vortex he's built on his space station. One blast and the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash, don't let him have those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Oh, yes, we're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals! Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. <laughs> you you have acquired all of the gems. Incredible! <laughs> Crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well. And with them, I can destroy the Cortex Vortex forever! <laughs> Let me warp you to my completed laser installation. <laughs> We are ready, Crash. Would you like to do the uh, <laughs> honors? Uga is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None have dared fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice! Great Uka Uka! It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my devil prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. 
There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look! I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Uka Uka and Cortex want tiny get crystals and bring them to Big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny or Crash can crash! By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Why? Why must you continue to be a thorn in our side? Who? What? Where was I? Oh. Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. Good day, mate. Dingle Dial's the name. And Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystal to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trogi, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it! So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back... I will fit the thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe! Ah! You little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into! This time, you've done it! You insolent, insignificant morons! By defeating Enzapy, you have placed us all in grave danger! <sighs> Crash, Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it'll do? So, Crash Bandicoot will meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. 
Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off, or be deleted! So, <laughs> you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who is obsolete. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. <laughs> what? For this we must destroy you! <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Crash, Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious, but it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! Defeated again! This is not fair! Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph! <laughs> Crash, Coco, if you have already retrieved a Levels Crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates Time Trial Mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time, but beware, some elements will change. The Time Twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. Give me the mask! With it, I shall take over the world! Come on! It is difficult to say what has happened to our enemies, but I doubt we will see them for a long time. Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. And now, the final blow! Hush, simpleton. Face it, Entropy. It's going to fail. Again! At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. Chew. Is he dead? Leave him. He served his purpose. 
<laughs> A great power has awoken. Crash? I fear it portends an event of reality-shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, we must go! Crash! 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 <laughs> 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 Lonnie Loli? If the quantum mask has returned, then... Hey, Aku, how's it going? Is that a quantum rift? It appears to be a door between dimensions. Yes, yes, the kind we keep shut. We have to go through, find my siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Uh... <laughs> Uka Uka unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once my rift generator is complete, dominion over all of time and space will be within our grasp. Engine Embryo, you had some little projects you wanted to tell me about? Master, my mechanical marvel will hypnotize you and I. And my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, you're fine, sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. <laughs> Hasten your steps. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us. And we will prevail. So, we need the other masks to close the rifts? Correct. Now, my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show, Dermier. Your precious mask. <sighs> Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well established dynamic. Not this time. I've got a backstage pass for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. I'm ready to rock. All right, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head! Uh, 
Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. We lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what, did we, like, die or something? What? No! Nope. No, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. Oh. <laughs> Akano! Old Dark Matter himself! A careful crash. He's heavier than life. <laughs> oh, good! You're awake. Uh, All right, two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before, now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78888. Oh, yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. Mm, follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. So where's the next mask? Not here. If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own rifts. Uh, for now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. Ah! Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good! You've arrived! And now for your reward! Reptilian wrath! Uh, Michael Wicker! No! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Roadkill pie? Slug and centipede gumbo? Braised back tacos with guanamole? Well now, what have we got here? Either that vile swill Papa Batfield cooks up in his filthy outhouse. Come on down to Dingo's Diner! Food served at Dingo's Diner may not meet the legal definition of food. Consume at your own risk. Side effects of dining at Dingo's Diner may include fatigue, increased body odor, risk-seeking behavior, thinking too much about your uncle, increased hunger, alienation from friends and family, skin irritation, ennui, leaky orifices, oozing orifices, flowing orifices... Oi, you fucking stay out of my diner! Remembering that girl from high school, what's she up to? Do you think she's happy? And profuse on the so you so bad! I ought to know. Crush! Coco! Come on, give old Capuna a kiss, eh? <laughs> 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 
Don't look at me like I broke wind at a wedding. I'm time. I see everything. And I mean everything. There's some very unexpected developments in your future. Your very near future. Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Yeah, just gonna stop you there before you tell us how we all die. Well, if you'd rather not know about the giant mask-eating monster from beyond the stars, Maybe that now. is your choice. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, you banished me to the past. But all it did was give me more time to plan your doom. You'll find me up the mountain. Don't freeze on the way. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sensing a real fraught history here. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. This is going to be just like the old days. Except this time, everything will go according to my plan. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Blasted bandicoots! <laughs> Must we keep going around and around like this? Tell me, Crash, is this all there is? Forever? Huh? No. I am unable to handle this simplest of tasks. Gloat all you want. I quit. If you need me, I'll be on a tropical island somewhere. Alone. How fortunate. You see, I no longer have needs for our alliance. I found a new partner and a new plan. You were scheming behind my back? Of course. The Rift Generator has capabilities beyond your meager imagination. You were content to simply rule over space and time, but I'd rather start from scratch, erase it all, wipe the slate clean. I'm going to reset the timeline and rebuild it to my liking. I will become a god, which means you and neither will those feather-brained masks or those meddling marsupials. <laughs> Wiped from existence by that pompous peacock? I'd like to see him try after I shove that tuning fork up his- But not if we get to him first. It appears we have a common enemy. Perhaps there's a way out of our endless cycle after all. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. Um, <sighs> Wake up! Ah! Ah! Goodness, if it isn't Lani Loli, how are you, brother? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but existence could end at any minute, so can we hurry? <sighs> When's existence ever done anything for anyone anyway? Oh, don't mind Grumpy Gus. He's always a downer. Yeah, don't mind me. I don't matter. Nothing matters. Now that we found Ika Ika, that's all four. What's next? We can't close the rifts until we stop whatever's opening them. That would be Entropy and his precious Rift Generator. <sighs> Sounds like it's time to kick some Entropy butt. Easy, chums. If I was here to fight, you'd be Cactus. He's with me. Found him lost out there. Caught him up on the whole time-space, you know, thing. Yeah, just trying to get home. I was enjoying the retired life, see? Got it. Our bad guys had a change of heart, too. Bad guy? Silence, well. But, sir! You try my patience, Oxide. But, no, no. I'm sure this insect knows how to obey an order. Entropy! Take your ship to planet Bermugula and be on the lookout for ships approaching the Rift Generator. 
We can't afford any unwanted visitors. At once, your foulness. You manage our affairs with such poise. Naturally, as do you. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> oh, ugh. Uh, barf. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like we're en route to the Rift Generator. But we'd be a lot faster in... That! What the...? Tana! I'm not losing you guys in this dimension, too. I'll handle this. But... We're a team. Oi! What'd I miss? What's the matter, hero? Couldn't solo this one? Let her go! <laughs> the last time I killed her friends, her screams were exquisite. Huh? Delicious. No! Let's make this fun. Give them a sporting chance. Ooh. Ah! Oh. <gasps> Let's see what you mongrels can do as a pack. Unable to handle even the simplest of tasks, I no longer have need for our thanks. <laughs> Alliance. Right then, let's plug up these holes. Not that it ain't been fun, but about my ticket home. Right. Now that we've mended things, we can take you anywhere. Any when? Mm. After we rest. For now, I can only get us as far as the culinary capital of the universe. Mm. Neon City! Mm. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Nachos. Whoa! You said it, Crash. We can meet with the others after we've explored. Now, which way are the food trucks? That Schnurgle shrink was killer. Ah, Struth. Who cooked it? Heat was too high. That's why it was all rubbery inside. Set by grill marks, too. I liked the pickled wumpa leaves. <sighs> Cortex, you can't. Why did you not see it before? There's another way I can break this cycle of endless fighting between us. I can go back to where it started. I can undo my greatest failure. He means you, Crash. Bye-bye, <laughs> <Yeah>. bandicoots. <laughs> Oh, 
claim me! Take a hint already! Who's on my super secret personal frequency? What? Who is this? This imposter! Do you not recognize your own face? I've come from the future to warn you! If you try to turn Crash Bandicoot into the general of your army, you will fail! The machine rejects God! <laughs> Fiend! Embryo, alert the guards! Uh, why won't I listen to me? Do you have any idea how stubborn I used to be? Yes. <laughs> I need to stop him from making you. But I can't kill him because that would kill me. So I guess that means I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Taking a hit to the old temporal lobe. But a fallen foe can only mean one thing. It came to blows, and I won! My new general's first order of business will be to dispose of you. <laughs> we are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the vortex! Dr. Vortex, the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Explains a lot. You uh, 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 stay. Uh, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a little time out. Somewhere he can't cause any trouble. Enjoy the end of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Ingo Stein is back and ready for you. Say good day to delectable dishes inspired by my interdimensional travels. Enjoy the breeze with our innovative three wall dining room design. Ingo Stein, health and safety rated D for delicious. Warning D is a failing sanitation brand and does not stand for delicious. <laughs> ah, he's at last. <laughs> oh, almost there, almost there, get the yes! yes! Oh, wow. Woo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Hey, Crash, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. <laughs> ah, 